Hello, hello, it's Amanda, your style specialist. All right, I'm back with you today for my outfit deconstruction, and I love doing these to just give you some inspiration to jump into your closet, pull pieces that you might have that are similar, right, and create a look, a vibe that, that you didn't really think about before. So I always love to take a step back, first of all, show you guys what I am wearing, first of all, and then I will break it down. And then you definitely wanna stick around until the end because I'm gonna be chatting about dressing for your body type and my take on that. Hi, Emily, I see you, love. Okay, so you guys know from the other week I was all into like putting on my blazers that I haven't been wearing. So now I'm like on that blazer train, I'm like all about it on the blazer train. It just feels so good. It feels like professional, but also like the way I've been styling it has been a little bit more casual. So. I knew today, I'll, I'll, I'll take a step back, right? I started with the hero piece of the outfit, which was this cute little, cute little cropped blazer. You can't tell, it's actually navy and black. Maybe you can tell. So it's got some navy and black detailing. Just a super fun little easy piece. So I knew that's what I wanted to wear. Like that's where my mind went first. Step one, start with the blazer. And then I was like, okay, do I wanna wear like a funky t-shirt under it? Do I wanna wear like a band shirt? What do I wanna wear? And I was like, you know, you know what? I was kind of feeling a little eh this morning, so I was like, I get to put on a nice blouse. Like I get to really elevate myself, really step into it. So I threw on this little blouse underneath, which also is navy and looks really cute under the jacket. And I knew that I wanted to show off more of my decollete just because more of me was covered, right? So I didn't want to go super high neck because that felt like I like to show a little bit of skin. So started with that, knew that I wanted to pair it back to some torn up jeans. These are my favorite right now. Um, they are the, I don't know if I ever pronounced this correct, a gold, I believe it's a gold or a goldie. If anyone knows, I should know this, but I don't, I think it's a gold. Um, but these are my favorite. High rise, a little destruction, a little bit of a, a little bit more of a relaxed fit throughout. So knew that I wanted to pair it back to the jeans so that it didn't come across as too like professional vibe and am all about the high rise lately. Just love the way it holds you in, right? Am I right, ladies? Am I right? It holds you in so well. So I'm a big fan of that with the button fly and obviously did a full tuck because I wanted to show off the rise of the jeans. I started with just doing the front tuck, but here's the thing in the back, you can see too much of the shirt hanging down and to me it just felt kind of sloppy. So I went with the full tuck. So that's the vibe of the outfit and then wanted to do a little bit of a heel um, because honestly I've been craving heels lately I don't know about you ladies but I, all I've been wanting to do is put on heels so threw on some heels with it today and I went a little bit funky with these they are a nude and they've actually got these really cool spikes on them so they're like a little cage booty with spikes okay so I went with the nude heel you could totally do an animal print you could totally pop a color I was just really feeling those today so I did that and then jewelry wise, since there is a lot of skin showing, I did a couple of layers with the necklaces, popped a bigger earring, obviously threw on my beautiful Love 13, if you know my girl Heather, love, 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 and then stacked on some rings, okay? So that was the vibe of today's outfit, feeling really good. It totally elevated my mood, shifted me, shifted me into like, all right, let's make decisions, let's go, let's focus. So they're. There's something to this, I keep saying it, but there's something to it. So what I wanted to chat with you about today as well is dressing for your body type. And I actually just sent out an email to my community about this. Like the, the number one question that I hear from women is how should I dress for my body type? And my first response inside is like, ugh, like honestly that question frustrates me because I don't, I don't, I don't believe there's rules around dressing for your body type. Like, I don't know who created all the rules, right? And I don't know who created all the, the, the body types initially, right? Like, oh, you're a pear, you're a ruler, you're a this. Like, I just think it's kind of silly to have names for body types and then to feel like there's set rules that of what you can and cannot wear based on that specific type. So anytime I get that question, I'm always like, ugh, like really? And for the longest time, I didn't think I could be a stylist because I don't dress people based on their body type, right? To me, style is about what makes you feel like the best version of you. What do you get to put on to stand in your power, to feel confident, to just really show up? Because guess what? 
that's what you should wear, not what an article tells you you should wear if you are curvy or if you, you know, don't have curves, right? That's not it because the reality is if you're just listening to the rules, if you're just listening to the, the articles, what you're reading, you could be missing out on playing and trying something and maybe like that A-line skirt actually looks amazing on you, but you had read somewhere to never try it. So when you go shopping, you just completely avoid it. So it's an invitation to stretch beyond if you've read something or if you have a label around yourself around what specific body type you are and what you should and should not wear. This is an invitation to stretch yourself and step into something different, something that you've always wanted to try but never really felt like you should because guess what? It's up to you, girlfriend. It's up to you to what makes you feel like the best version of you. So that's my little short answer of how I answer that question but that really is one of the one of the number one questions that, that women ask me. So if there's any like specific style questions that you have that you want me to dive into on any of these lives and any of these videos, let me know. I'm happy to, I'm happy to dive into that. And if you'd like to jump into my email community where I always share these, these things and like go a little bit deeper, you can also let me know in the comments and I'll get you added. Okay. So hope you are all having a beautiful, magical day being yourself and just loving on yourself and loving on everyone. And I send you so much love. Go forth stylishly. Mwah.